I've hunted all across the internet to discover the most incredible Mac apps that make you get more work done in way less time. Let's jump into it. This first app is just incredible and it already saved me hours of file sharing, dragging and dropping. The app Dropover gives you a temporary storage shelf where you can drop off all sorts of files and then share them in a bunch. Check this out. I can select a few files from one folder, shake them slightly and now a small window pops up where I can let go of my files. Now I select another file from another folder and I can also place it in there. Here they all stay until I choose one of Dropover's many actions. Either sharing them with AirDrop or any messaging app or using file actions like copy to, create zip file or batch rename them. You can even create a link to files up to 8 gigs using the Dropover cloud so other people can easily download them. And it's just getting better. For even quicker file sharing, just drag the files onto the lightning icon and you can immediately place them on a quick action like AirDropping. So freaking fast. You can try the app for free for two weeks and after that it's just a one-time purchase of $3.99. I think that's just incredible. Okay, let's move on. I'm sure you know this problem, especially if you're working on a large screen. You have way too many windows open and can't really focus on the one you're working with. Well, that's where this amazing app comes in. Hazeover reduces distractions by dimming all background windows so your front window is always in the spotlight. The app rests in your menu bar so you can quickly reduce or increase the dim amount or choose to disable dimming when using a certain app. It's very intuitive and gives you loads of customization options. The app costs $4.99 and you can purchase it in the App Store or use the 14 days free trial they offer on the Hazeover website. Ever ask yourself, how can I download a video from the internet directly to my Mac? Well, search no more because Downy is an app that lets you download videos from over 1000 supported websites and yep, YouTube is one of them. Just don't tell anybody. Psst. Simply copy any video link, access Downy on your menu bar and paste it in. The app will download your video in its maximum resolution, even up to 4K. You can also choose to only extract the audio, so you get an MP3 file. Such a game changer. The app costs $19.99, but you can try it for free. I love using dark mode to reduce eye strain on my Mac, but one thing that always annoyed me is that when surfing the web, websites still light up normally in their bright colors. Well, it annoyed me until I discovered the app right here. Technically, it's not an app, but a Safari extension, but who cares? It recognizes when dark mode is activated on your Mac and then forces every single website into a simulated dark mode. It's a simple extension, but gives you many customization options like darkening images on the website or choosing between a dark gray or pitch black background. Noir costs $3.99 and it's a one-time purchase you can make on the App Store. Quick break, we have so many more apps coming up, like one allowing you to create scrolling screenshots or one that instantly snaps windows into its place. So stick until the end of the video to find out about them. If you're using any apps that are helpful to you, make sure to drop a comment down below and let everyone in the community know. Thank you. Next up is Feedly, an amazing app for organizing all your favorite content feeds in one simple app. At its core, Feedly is an RSS reader, so it helps you stay updated on your favorite websites by collecting and displaying new content in one place. You can add RSS links from many web pages like news sites, blogs or corporate newsrooms. Or use Feedly search to look for a topic or industry and find corresponding feeds. If you choose to upgrade to the pro version of the app, you can do even more. Add email newsletters to declutter your inbox, add Reddit or Twitter feeds to stay up to date, or even add YouTube subscriptions and watch new videos directly in the app. The app is also available for iPhone and iPad, it won't show you any advertisement and the free version is already more than enough for many users. I've replaced all of my news apps and subscriptions with this single app and I'm still always up to date. Are you tired of always dragging around windows and resizing them by hand? Well, 
magnet can do this job for you. Just resize a window to one of the many different sizes and positions through one click on the menu bar. Or what's even faster is to use magnet's hot corners. Immediately snap windows into place by dragging them to a side of your screen. It's perfect for multitasking and has drastically improved my workflow. Magnet costs $7.99 on the App Store. Next up is another simple but essential app. While it's working on Mac, copying and pasting is everyday business. And our next app, Mackey, keeps track of every single thing you copy and paste. Let's say I'm copying a PDF document, some text, a picture, and then some more text. On a Mac without Mackey, I can now only paste the last thing I've copied, so the text. But with Mackey, I can use a custom shortcut to access my copy history and then click on any item on the list that I've copied before. Now I can insert it wherever I want to. Copy and paste on steroids. And what's even better, Mackie is open source and therefore completely free to use. If you've seen my last video, I already fell in love with the Shortcuts app on my Apple Watch. But it's also an extremely powerful tool on Mac. Best thing here is that you can stick shortcuts on your menu bar so you can integrate them into your workflow for every app you're using. To do so in the app, just drag any shortcut into the menu bar folder. Okay, let me show you some cases I use shortcuts for specifically on Mac. Number one, immediately split screen two apps I'm multitasking with all the time. Number two, shorten any URL from my clipboard to insert into an email or document. Or number three, control the lamps in my studio directly from the menu bar. Neat, right? If you need some more inspiration, click on Gallery. Here you'll find some curated shortcuts by Apple. Shortcuts should be already pre-installed on your Mac, but if it's not, you can download it for free on the App Store. The built-in screenshot tool on macOS is fine, but it's limited to what's currently displayed on screen. If you want to take a screenshot of, let's say, a longer section of a web page, Snip comes in very handy. It's a screenshot tool that has many incredible features, and one of them is scrolling capture. Just select an area for a screenshot and then scroll along. Snip will automatically generate a screenshot from the content displayed. Of course, you can also take normal screenshots, and when selecting an area, Snip offers pixel perfect selection might sound overpowered, but save you lots of time afterward when inserting seamlessly cut images. Snip also has some really nice annotation tools and you can annotate even before the screenshot is saved directly on your current screen. The screenshot tool is free to download on the App Store. Keyboard shortcuts are a great way to save loads of time and I'm sure you're using the simple ones all the time. But nearly every app on Mac has so many more shortcuts to offer if you could just remember them all. And that's where our next app, Cheat Sheet, comes into play. Just press and hold the command key in any app and Cheat Sheet will immediately display all the keyboard shortcuts available for the application. If you're feeling lazy, you can just click on one of the shortcuts or press it on your keyboard. Very neat. Cheat Sheet is a free app that you can download on their website. The link is in the description. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please consider letting me know down below in the comments so I can start producing a second part because I've got many more incredibly powerful Mac apps on my machine. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.